Do video games make me a violent person? Uh, uh, no it doesn't. You know, I don't really plan on hijacking a car, blasting the music, and driving to my next violent mission that I want to partake in. Neither will you find me running around with a gun trying to gain experience points to unlock new weapons and perks for myself. Because obviously you can tell I really want that sleight of hand perk. So I actually know how to reload guns faster. I don't think I'm Master Chief, and I don't think I'm some supreme being with kick-ass abilities. But that'd be pretty freaking sweet. Studies have linked violence in games to short-term and long-term aggression, as well as having a loss for empathy for others. But to solely blame video games for violent acts... What? You know why that person was shooting? Obviously it's because he's playing Call of Duty too much. Oh yeah? Yep, yep. It's all video games' fault. While I do believe that exposure to violence in the media can be a gateway to leading to violent thoughts, I am not going to go on a rant today about how much anger we all feel when one puts the blame completely on video games. But what I wanted to talk about today was, do video games make me violent? I have moments where I picture myself being able to shoot fireballs out of my hands. Sometimes after I paint my nails, I like to wave it in the air, pretend like I'm transforming into a Sailor Scout. Because I thought it'd be pretty cool to change into one and kick ass. Yeah. Although I love the way how Ezio looks when he's running around town assassinating people. Thought of me actually assassinating people. That does not mix well with me. I think the only bad thing I can take away from video games is that it's taught me to have a pretty foul mouth. You know, sometimes I want to say, Oh my god, I want to punch something right now. Other than that, when I was a kid before I was heavily into video games, I used to like tackle my friends during the winter time. The moment you had like snow wars and stuff and like you didn't mind tackling or like beating up other people during because like, you're just in a war and stuff. Oh, and there has been instances where I punched a wall, but I'm not I'm not exactly proud to admit that. I mean, the only thing I can really think of is that video games has maybe more of an aggressive person, but that's when it comes to video games and competitions. I'm usually just the kind of person that will kind of like, no, I don't want to fight. Instead of just sitting here blaming video games for the acts of violence that are occurring in this world, I don't believe that a lot of us are educated about mental illnesses such as antisocial personality disorder. What is it? How to identify it? Because that's the real danger. And yes, parents, monitor your kids. I know at the age of 12 I would have hated my parents if they were standing over my shoulder monitoring everything I did. But if you don't believe that they should be playing a shooting game at the age of 12, then don't allow them to. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching guys, I will see you guys later. Bye! Dun, 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 dun.